cool. Um, yes. So basically, um, there's a there's a a no win scenario in terms of like uh, the length and the and the amount of time going into this and like what we can expect the LP to be. Um, I know that. I, I'm. I, it's been made well aware to me that like, I've been made well aware of the fact that it's like a super crazy long, hyper turbo long game, and the way that boy I play, is it, yeah. So I know that, and I know the way that I play things as well um, is not going to be conducive to getting through it as quickly as possible. And also, there's the fact that I'm you know doing it with Reggie and all kinds of other little factors. So the dis the discussion eventually led to one where I was like, okay, what I'll do is I'll just play offline. Um, and um, I'll avoid what are what I think are obvious markers of like progress, and then I'll just record uh, locally whatever I'm doing, and then keep notes whenever of... something cool happens. Precisely, and so that's what I've been doing. Um, and you know, I've so far like for example, since the 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 first time I did it, it was like one day apart from the second session, so. There was just a, a couple, like maybe like two hours of just like scrubbing through and being like, here, I saw this, I did that. Um, right. But now, right, since the last time it was uh, <laughs> we played it was Thursday, it's been yeah. quite a few days. So uh -huh. that, that time builds up. Um, so what I've been doing is it's still capturing and cropping it into little moments. But um, yeah, there's a, a lot of like, oh, I found a cave. I'll light the grace at the entrance and not go in. Right, and mark down that that is what you did because there's no comp like uh, your standard open world game would put a check mark or like cross it out or precisely. Whatever. So what I'm doing is I'm adding it to the favorites list on the, on mm -hmm. the um the the map, and mm -hmm. then I now have a list of like here's a couple caves I found but didn't enter, and in the meantime on the way to the cave here's what I found and I oh I picked up an ash mm -hmm. over here, or I or I found a, a shop over there, you know um. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of, and then there's like points of interest of just like I saw this thing. I don't know what it is, but um, I've made a note of it. And then yeah, that'll just be a little quick recap every time we sit down there's, to play. There's so much though. There is, and I don't <laughs> like it. This is the this it's, and I think this is the most reasonable compromise for something that uh, that has no other solution outside of like. <sighs> you will it's either that or i'll just have or like parts of the lp are missing right all right so i want to talk i want to i want to get some i want to ask you a series of questions to figure out what we're talking about okay here, right i i just want to put forward that uh the explanation about how i'm about how this is working out though is yeah. currently fine yeah it's not an issue so like as it is i think this is okay i'm not bringing this up in a Oh God! It's what? How do I fix this? It's I think this mm -hmm. what I'm doing works. So, with that being said, yeah. So, what is the absolute furthest point of let's say excursion that you have made so far? Yeah. Uh, getting teleported. Uh, I, well, I don't know what you would consider like furthest okay. point. Basically, you start in Limgrave, and to your east is the ultimate shithole that is Kaled. Okay, right. so here's so, so I, I can tell you the extremities. I can tell you the yeah. extremities. Give me the, give me an extremity of borders here. Uh, yeah, I have the borders, and then I have the teleports. So there's there's the, there's the two teleports. <laughs> there's the two teleports. One teleport was um uh into the the uh, eastern forest, right? Yeah. That that then I then took an elevator down to another yes, you world. Did. Right. Right. I walked the other planet, yes. And I walked forward in another world for a little bit. I got out of that first zone, and then I got into a second zone, and then I saw a dead caribou, and I was like, "Damn!" Right? Yep. And then a bunch it. of mm -hmm. a bunch of big like um, fucking Zod the Immortal motherfucker style horn dudes came at me, and then I got mm -hmm. zapped, and that was that. You, right? You you hung out in the underdark for a while. I peeked. I peeked into there, into the underdark. Yeah. Sure. Um, what what? may or may not be the eternal city the eternal city that would be okay. no cron the eternal city or something like that um then uh i went all right i've peaked so let me come back here uh i went back and then 
uh, <laughs> teleported again to um, the from the I, I got to the Church of America, Third Church of America, and then right, right. Uh, I took the teleporter because when you're when you're you're oh, not you allowed... found that fucking thing. Not only did I find it, um, when you're playing a thing in LP format, you're not allowed to deny content, right? You know, yeah, no. This. Oh, I'll come back to that teleporter later. No, mm -mm, you're not no. allowed. You, there is an a, there's an a, 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 there's a couple thousand hands pushing you that say no, you must go. So I took it. And then and so wound, it, wound up in Brazil. Yeah, so it's funny that you mentioned that because you and Paige both found that thing on your own. I did not. Uh, and that teleporter specifically, it's really tucked away in a deep uh -huh. corner uh -huh. to the point where you get an NPC quest line. And it is the only NPC quest line that I have currently found in FromSoft history in which the guy says, I will mark it on your map. Okay. And a yeah. red check mark for its location appears on your map. It gives me the feeling that things like that exist tucked away for people who are going to be New Game Plusing this and knowing exactly where they want to go immediately. Oh, oh, I can talk to you about that in a few minutes so at I the get, end of today. I get the vibe. I get the vibe that, like, upon your second outing, you're like, get me straight to fucking Antarctica. And yeah, they're you're also there. You're, and uh, you're, that, this is going to serve as your double Mario 3 whistle. In particular, that guy, that teleport also serves to uh, the NPC that tells you how to get there. Uh, you find him once you get an item that you would trade in to the guy where you end up. Okay, okay. So it's like, here's how you get to essentially this merchant. Yeah, so um, so I went to Brazil, and then I went, yeah. all right, get me out of here. And then, uh, this and then place I, is horrible. Right, and then I got to the round table. Um, mm -hmm. And then as far as, so then I'm like, all right, back to Lingrave. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> and then uh, as far as the actual Limgrave map goes, um, I am currently, uh, I peeked into the red sky zone up in the northeast that is um, caleb yeah I, I i i saw the the first like church there uh walked up to it an invader showed up and i was like mm -hmm. okay uh lit the grace and then that's as far as the northeast i've gone uh on the western side um i'm i didn't enter the gates right yeah okay um and then also, there I found the bridge going across to Storm something, Storm Hill, and then and then uh, it was guarded by a, the the pumpkin head, um, mm -hmm. and so I lit the first grace there, and then yeah. south same thing bridge to a zone, mm -hmm. um, that was guarded by the uh, I guess the trebuchet, yeah, um, it's guarded by like a, a bunch of dudes on that bridge. Took out the bridge, lit the first grace there. So okay. that's that's it. Basically, I have first grace in on each of these extremities, um, mm -hmm. and then but Limgrave is is as as a whole like a chunk that's there. So I have to say, like there there are more of those teleporters uh, around. There's at least two in your immediate vicinity that uh, that will kick you to later parts of the game for either speed run or terror purposes. Um, and they absolutely do feel like, hey man, you want to get, you want to just skip the trip all the way out here? Go ahead and go ahead and do it. Um, they're great. Hmm. Um, replacing mimics with, I've teleported you far away. Yeah. Is incredible. I think I found another one and I mm -hmm. just straight up dodged it. <laughs> I think, I think I, oh, I what? yeah, yeah. I opened up, Which a, I, that be? I, I opened up a chest um and some some gas came out and i just walked away from it i went no which i thought you just said i thought you just said that you can't deny people content this was not on stream ah oh, was it where uh where was that exactly in the in the lake in the lake you definitely want to take that okay well either way i didn't take it off stream yeah, but i know okay. where that it is sense. and i made note of it so that um we can come back and visit so so like i'm i'm oh god so i've been scraping and a couple things to note one is um 
I've never played a game where no matter hard I scrape, I can't scrape hard enough. Like, mm. um, I was looking up, I was like, you know, I never got the, the cookbook that helps me uh, make the item that cures this poison effect. Mm. Never got it. Mm. And I'm, I'm done with the area in which I have to worry about that, that status effect. So that, I'm like, that's weird. Let me look up where it was. Oh, it's right, right there. <laughs> next to a grace yeah. in Seofer River. It is 10 feet away yeah. from the grace in Seofer River. I literally just didn't look to the left where I it just, was. I just picked up a, a cookbook with some anti-poison shit that I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. Prob that's probably mm -hmm, the one mm -hmm. I'm talking about. I went and got it five minutes ago before the for me, started. For me... Well, what, one thing that I'm finding to be like, and, and like the first thing that I started caring about is, okay, so um, I, I, I'm giving, I guess since this is being recorded the day before we actually like sit down and recap all the stuff I've done off stream, I'm mm -hmm. like, I guess I'm, I'm giving a preview of what we're going to be covering uh, tomorrow, but like off stream, I also prioritize, like before walking into unknown places, I prioritize cleaning up things we've seen but left alone. Right. Right. Makes sense. So one of those things included um, taking that. Uh, I'm just going to call it a fucking Pharos lockstone because that's what it is. Um, the gargoyle keys. Yeah. 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 Stabbing that into the area at the beginning of the game. And Ooh, walking I love down that dungeon. there. That's a fun zone. That's a pretty fun spot. Right. There are a there's a lot of good stuff down there. Now you're there's willing some, to do it. There's also some bullshit, including a bug that I have captured on camera twice, where yeah. when you run down past the little bladed machine, um, by the way, uh, well anyway, you run past, past down by the little bladed machine, and then the little ambush guys are appearing, uh, yeah. the, in the alcoves. You kick one mm -hmm. down, and he teleports back up onto the alcove with you. And it's not an intended, like, magic teleport. It is a bug. He just suddenly reappears up there. No, those guys teleport all over. No, 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 no. Not a teleport with sound and appearing. That's what I'm saying. I know they teleport. Not that yeah. kind. A bug style. There is no graphic or animation. He just appears. That's what I'm, like, that happened twice off uh, he, on camera now. He misses now, you. Right? So there's the teleporting that's the intended game he's spawning with the yeah. visual and sound effect. And then there's this fucked up, like, uh-oh, he just clipped, like, appears through the wall. And here he is, you did know? You, uh, did you get to the bottom of that place? Sure did. Found both uh, fun things. Um, okay, because, like, the, 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 the biggest fun thing that I found down there was, like, this game has a... So it's, it uses its open space incredibly well. It has the best, like, I don't want to do this right now. I'll come back to it later of any game I've ever played in my life. Uh-huh. Uh, and its map is also incredible at that because if you zoom in on the map and see any not notable geometric anything on the map, you can look at it and go, I bet there's something there. And there mm -hmm. almost invariably always is. Mm -hmm. But it also has the situation in which... I got to that thing within my first day of streaming. Okay. So I you, went down there. Was that your and starting like, gift? No, but I, okay. once I, re I looked at it, I went, okay, I need two of these. When I have two of them, I'll come back and I'll go do it. So I went all the way to the bottom, mm -hmm. ran all the way to the bottom. Oh, uh, uh, Shrine of America. Cool. I'll be able to respawn in this spot. Mm -hmm. past this boss door mm -hmm. and then the game has a really excellent way to tell you whether or not you should be there at all and that is when you hit the boss mm -hmm. so first of all does the boss instantly kill you in one strike mm -hmm. if the boss instantly kills you in one strike okay maybe, maybe consider chill consider right? chilling yeah but the second of that is when you hit the boss does the damage you do create a visible piece of yellow on yes. the boss health Can you bar? see the damage you've done? Yeah. Because if you can, yeah. then you can. And I blew, I want to say, 90 minutes mm -hmm. learning how to do that mm -hmm. and was amply rewarded with something I used for most of my playthrough. Uh-huh. So. Was, ooh, it's good. So, 
uh, walked down there, saw that, and I'm taking that statue of America right outside the spot, the boss gate, as a sign of difficulty indicator. Right? It's a g it's oh, the game. There's there's a couple. There's the Shrine of America symbol under your health, and then there's the the little summon tombstone. Yeah, blue uh, to your yeah, left. yeah, yeah. It's like this is <laughs> these are the clues for what you're about to do. You know, it's like all right, got it. Um, walked in, and uh, as we had in uh, you know uh, on stream, like uh, walked in and went okay. This is just uh, a a bit of a wall right now, and I can see based on what I'm swinging and how it's going that like it's a bit much, but it's not it's not unaccomplishable because on my best tries of which there were like two, I got it down to like half, right? Yeah, and I'm and like, then it it does its second phase, and then it I was like, be... oh, okay, exactly, right? Um, and also shout outs to the return of the from soft i cannot tell what the animation of this creature is doing the the writhing and the things that make no sense because it's not a person or even it's, really it's just a it, it, it's it a doesn't thing have four legs yeah it doesn't, yeah it's just, it took hard me to maybe read 30 to 40 attempts mm -hmm. to be able to be like he's doing that mm -hmm. he's doing that so uh off camera which we'll uh, which we'll we'll be visiting uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, next stream. I went back down there. About ninety minutes, we yep. do it. Right. Oh, it's 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 but, definitely not intended to be tackled in and in but, comparison to its own region. But here's the fucked up thing. I had uh, literally a run that was basically final pixel double ko esque mm -hmm. and completely uh and didn't get it i did i swung oh. and, and got hit right and i was like okay but that shows me that everything up to that point was the right attitude and the right approach mm -hmm. um and then uh kept at it for another set and uh the one that counted was so fucked because you know the um so, so, I mean, whatever. We're just talking openly about this. So this is the, this is yeah, the yeah. what's it called? Don't uh, this... worry, dude. The game. No, 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 so no, no. I know. Big. I'm just. I'm trying to remember the name. It's it's um. Ulcerated tree. Spirit. Ulcerated tree spirit. Thank you. So when the ulcerated tree spirit starts to activate its um its AOE, uh, yeah. And and you're like, well, fuck me. Here we go. The room is so small. Yep. Yep. It starts activating it, and I'm like in the middle of what I feel to be is a confident um, um, uh, poise crush, mm -hmm. yeah. and I keep swinging, and I actually get a crumple. So yeah. it starts the AOE, interrupts it with the crumple, and then I do the repost. Mm -hmm. And while that is happening, the AOE goes off anyway. And something breaks, <laughs> so it it see it was like it might it might have just been the wrong moment, but the AOE was about to pop off, and then I he crumples out of it, goes into the animation, but the ground says yeah the spell has already started, so then it starts doing the fucking uh, um ele whatever the ground electricity shit explosions yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, and then he rips a rip he rips out of it, and then the AI just snaps and the boss just stands there. Yeah. That's a win. That's a win. <laughs> I'm like, That's are you fucking kidding me? Just That's a win. Complete, unbelievable, fucking bullshit. So, uh, anyway, you'll see. You'll see tomorrow. But like, it was like, I'm like, I earned this. I got him down you there. You earned it, absolutely. 100%. I got him down there. I don't care. But it was wildly like, okay, there are some, there are some issues here. And there are some moments where the game doesn't like it if you interrupt, you know? Um, and so, then, yes, the reward for that is what appears to be a very nice Ash that I don't have the mind for. So I've now uh, been building my mind out. So uh, I used Oleg mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. uh, six of the nine streams that I've done. Okay. And he carried me to wins that i did not deserve damn okay and yeah i'm building i'm building for them for that you so have to you commit need, though because the yeah, build up the need, uh 
uh, 20 mine for him. You, you went with what class again? I went with Confessor. So I've been going Faith and uh, Strong Arms. What mine did hand. you start with? I started with like 10, 11. Okay, because like yeah, I started starting with 12, and I'm looking at it go up each time, and I'm like, oh boy, it's going to take a minute. You know? So... Uh, let's let's use this let's use this as a stop a jump off point to talk about uh, summons, right? Because this is one of the game's big value adds, and it's what I'm seeing a lot of people talk about mm -hmm. in the game, mm -hmm. uh, both for and against. I think the summoning thing that they have added to this game might be the game's singular best feature after its open world and scale. It has completely completely replaced human beings mm. with if, with boss attempts for me and that's what if that's what summons are for you is like a, a, an aggro draw then yes you completely have that that uh, summons replace it and furthermore um also npc story quest summons mm -hmm. right now yeah, you, they're also still there yeah but but these but these like personalized ones are, yeah, they they're a replacement for this for the multiplayer. I can I feel so, that. So, uh, I saw somebody completely nail it in chat. Uh, they they said summons are not balanced at all, and that's great. And I will I will echo that statement. Summons look like they were added into the game and literally never received one balance pass at all. Okay. Huh. The reason I say this is because the summons that you are summoning are not a unique or designed thing. They are existing enemy types that are just having their targets switched to aggro enemy instead of aggro player, right? That's it. Oh, their movesets, you mean? Yeah, no, they are just, you are spawning in a an enemy. An enemy okay. that just happens to be on your side. Every, every, every single, um, Summon that you get is an existing enemy somewhere. Okay. Right? And you, you might not have gotten to this point, but you unlock an ability to upgrade them. Yeah, and you they mentioned their, last time. They had their own upgrade path all the mm -hmm. way to plus 10. Mm -hmm. And at plus 10, they, in some cases, are stronger than you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a... I have uh, two summons right now that, uh, to those of you who uh, have been watching my streams are, are aware, it's uh, summons that you get uh, from the Ronnie quest line, and they can absolutely kill bosses by themselves. Jesus But Christ. they require significant investment. The summon that I'm using right now requires 162 FP to summon. Wow. Can and, you can you use items to like buff your FP? Uh, there are a couple, but you pretty much want to. If you're gonna be a caster, you might as well get might it as up well anyway, build, right? Yeah. Um, you and the thing that I have with 162 FP, I've had it fight enemies and fight bosses by itself. Wow. And win, and on that is in addition to that you upgrade them. But in addition to that, if you have buffs that affect you, like I'm going faith. So there's stuff like Sacred Bow, and it's like buffs allies. Also, summons are allies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. summons cool. are allies. Like here's a ten, here's a ten percent damage buff. Wow. And it's it's not balanced at all, and I don't care. Because <laughs> call, part, call Tarkus whenever you want. Parts of the game are also not balanced at all against you. Mm. So it's it's fine. It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. Anytime I'm wandering, incredible. anytime I'm wandering the overworld and I see that stat, the the fucking summon sigil pop up, I'm like, okay, I'm fucking tiptoeing. I'm tiptoeing because I don't know what's coming here. You know. That being said, though, can I just point out um, that multiple times I've had unnecessary clenches whenever, uh, specifically like fighting that tree, where like a big old attack will pop off and I'll roll the correct way, do the correct dodge, but I'll hear the sound of one of my wolves dying. Yeah. And I'll and be like, like oh, no, oh! <laughs> Yeah, and it's totally fine. That that death sound has gotten me 
a couple times. Yeah, you know? no, it's the same thing with the horse. When the horse yeah, gets blasted and yeah. dies, there's it plays the death sound effect. Um, but yeah, uh, I I have gone, I've gone real deep on this. Uh, so the area past uh, Godric is called Lyurnia. It's the area we saw in the the previews that has the big castle with the lake. Um, I don't think I remember. The, ar but anyway. the area to the east of Limgrave is called Kaled, and the area that you were in that you refer to as Brazil is above Kaled. Yeah, the the grace I touched the the drop that yeah. game. Yeah, cleared all of that a hundred percent. Right. And I am just now starting on the area of the game north of Liernia. And I have found I have found what might be the this is easily the most nonlinear game of its genre ever made. Um I have found Four different ways to get to the zone where the capital is, including one that just teleports you straight there and skips like two zones hmm. entirely. Um, it just you just go, you just, just go. Open. If you want to just go, you just go, go, you just go. I'm um something I'm I I, I guess I don't fully understand yet is um the torrent life bar right mm -hmm. there are consumables that you can craft to feed to oh, heal ignore those if he dies he'll just use a crimson tear flash that's what i was thinking that's what i was thinking and my that when i read the description of that i was like why wouldn't i just use a, a flask um mm -hmm. uh but uh, there was then I, I read some some the comments about like uh, like this you're missing out on something I'm, I'm misunderstanding something about that and that it's a really good it, it, thing to feed torrent yeah. or something but I just I was just like I just use an Estes flask and we'll be fine yeah. right but anyway okay I, I just wanted to confirm that because there are some times where you you don't get touched you get clipped mm -hmm. but the horse takes all the damage you know yeah it's weird that's a hitbox thing it is it, it is weird um but uh yeah and then also exactly like if you take a sip like the horse also heals up a little bit so anyway all right just just I was just wondering so if you were doing you. that oh okay I, I was gonna say when we're talking about um about looking for things or whatever for me uh one thing that was uh the when i started i started actually paying attention to my crafting when i needed to start doing um uh, uh um w whatever flame paper right yeah, yeah like yeah. and and Flame grease, it's called a thing grease grease yes true and so i built a couple and then i was like okay great i have enough and then of course on the runs where it matters basically i kind of created a system yeah. where i was like if i can get the the boss into its first repost i'll then light the fire up you know yeah and then you then smash them to pieces and go to go to go to town with it so then i was like great i used a bunch of my fire uh on that where let's go find some more and it says okay you can find resin root at the base of trees and i'm like Got cool it. and i'm running past the base of every tree off screen for hours now and i'm only picking up rona fruit and i'm like what the fuck do you mean it's at the base of trees i literally have not picked up a single one so <laughs> i'm like okay these descriptions of where to find them are gonna they they leave a little bit to be desired, you know? Yeah, and then, I then and then and then what you do is you type in uh Elden Ring yeah, space yeah, yeah, root yeah. resin. Yeah. And you find out that the area that is farming for that is further away than you're you're actually able to go. So Yeah. Um but I did go to like an Erd tree and I walked around or the minor Erd tree and I walked mm -hmm. around it in the forest and there was none there either. And I was like, okay, well, no, no, no more crafting the, for me. The, this is, this is like, so the wiki actually, I just checked. It says can be found in Limgrave. Not very helpful. Fuck off. So what you, what you would do is you would load up your social media or you would contact somebody who you know is farther in the game. Yeah. And be like, 
bro, I can't find root resin. Where do I find root resin? So um, I, 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 I was trying to dodge, like, again, videos and things. I was, mm -hmm. and I, but I, 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 when I did a quick, a, a cheeky little Google did show that it's like the, there's an area that is past the storm gate. So I was like, all right, yeah. well, fuck it then. If it's past the gate, I'll just, I'll ignore it. Basically, uh, there's a, the reason why you have uh, the little herb symbol that you can slap down on your map mm -hmm. is so that, uh, like, there's an area in Stormhill where there's, like, a little fireplace next to a, gra uh, uh, a grace that has, like, ten smoldering butterflies just hanging out. Oh. And, th and they'll just pop every time you sit down there. Okay. So if you want to take, like, literally 120 seconds, you can get, like, 40 or 50 of them. And then just sit on that. So that's you were that's where you drop that icon. Yeah. Uh, there's okay. also an area to the very south of Mistwood where you can get a lot of blood roses, which is where you would get the bleed uh, craftable item. Okay, yeah, I haven't uh, fucked with that yet. So the reason uh, I mentioned, I'm glad I was able to figure out a way to mention bleed. Have you fucked with bleed in this game at all? I'm using the um, the sword that. Um... Uh, the hound from the Everjail. Darahill's uh, bloodhound sword. Yes, I'm. U I'm using okay. the bloodhound blade, and it is pretty nice. So, this is easily as somebody who's gone through a lot of the game uh, and seen a lot of what it has to offer in terms of like stuff, like miracles and and sorceries and these things. They finally totally nailed status effects for you in your favor this time. Mm. bleed bleed the reason why bleed does so much damage is that it's percentile mm -hmm. uh it it does somewhere between 18 to 25 percent of anything's health no matter how high that health is yes um and i've noticed that uh there's a fantastic combo that i'm getting because basically uh, now that i have that blade i popped i popped my 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 decks up a bit and then I put my um, staff in the other hand, and I got my. Yeah. I found the sorcery trainer, so now I've got yeah. a glint blade in one hand and the blood blade in the other, and we're just we're yeah. having fun, we're flipping around. And uh, what's happening um, is a combo is being stacked up where uh, I get a crumple, and then repost, and then come right back in with a couple of hits, and then the bleed pops as well. And they so, explode. So there's a like the fight is the first half of their life bar. And then the second half is like, and now you cash out. Yeah. It's, it's so awesome. All of the statuses you can inflict on enemies are good. Poison's a little bit weaker, a little bit on the lower side. Uh, but Frost is excellent. Frost is absolutely excellent. It slows them, and you, they also take more damage when they're frosted. Okay. In addition to have a burst... I only I only encountered one frost status so far, and that was jumping over the balcony, at mm -hmm. the round table. Yeah, uh, and then that fucker came in and was frosting me up, and I was like, "Ooh, that's a that's an interesting status." Yeah. So, um, and it was both it was that plus bleed I think at the same time. Um, yeah, it's. Mm -hmm. Uh, so so there, and I'm assuming that there's going to be you know of course some some consumables to like put that on whatever as well. Yeah, um, you can you you can find a, a, a art of war that just lets you put frost on your shit. And so, the, and here's the other thing: I lit my my bleed, which has my, my blade, which has a bleed status on it. I lit it on fire, so you're getting yeah. both. So now, like those things don't have restrictions like they used to. You could put yeah. anything on anything. No, uh, the the rule is if your weapon does one damage type, you can add a second. Okay, okay, up to two. So what? So I'm going faith. So a lot of my weapons already deal physical holy, holy damage, and yeah. I can't buff those. Gotcha. But let me tell you a secret about your bleed weapon. Did you know that you can take your bleed weapon and put blood grease on it to do double the bleed? I was about to say. So when you're mentioning these roses, I'm thinking, yeah, stack that shit up, right? Yeah. Okay. You're, fire you're on fire. Bleeding dudes bleed in bleed. like two hits sick that is really sick. now bleed does have diminishing returns every time you bleed something it takes longer to bleed the next to time to build it up but like it's it's mm -hmm. it's good i'm seeing the benefits uh, uh i saw the benefits on that tree and i saw the benefits on those um land octopus 
yeah. uh, uh, you know, like I, like you just you get that that nice crunch on the back half of their life bar. Yeah, yeah. I, it's a crunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That the hemorrhage pop feels like a crunch. It's a crunch. Um, so because you're going faith, um, yep. Did you grab those fucking Protoss uh, 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 slashers? The the uh, the the cipher padas. Literally zealot blades. Uh, so those things, the 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 Wolverine for Jesus weapons, uh, they require really high faith investment. This one's uh, for you, God. <laughs> they are they are a great slower backup weapon. They're legitimately very good, and the weapon art, which is just like a, a stab, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it being completely unblockable and very fast makes it extremely helpful to kill other people with. That picking that up and two handing it was the first thing that made me go faith huh hmm. yeah oh they they <laughs> did faith real oh. nice in this one huh how about now, that granted, faith? Sorcery the first weapon have, i saw sorcery has a, an absolutely stupid amount of spells a lot of them are bad a lot of them are incredible throwing meteors at people mm -hmm. there is what i can only describe as a kamehameha mm -hmm. oh i've um, seen that's what i'm that's what i want i've seen that's what actually made me one, like that's the that's the thing that I saw the enchanted knight do, and I was like, okay, yeah, put me there. The the glint stone sorcery, uh, the, sorry, the glint blade sorceries are all really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, just faith actually got a lot of good stuff, and arcane also got a lot of good stuff. So arcane is like was originally very poorly understood when the game came out, because what would happen is you would put like you find the ability to put blood as a status on your weapon mm -hmm. instead of quality or sacred it would be blood but as you put your arcane up the damage would not increase so people thought uh, what's up with this what it does is as your arcane goes up the status build up increases instead so you take uh, a long sword that starts with 50 blood build up and you pump arcane to 45 and now it's doing like 95 blood build up per swing Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm um, already I'm already uh, wavering, and probably like now that now that there's no weapon durability, I think Dex might yield me some results that I wanted the previous games to have because oh, there's like I my thing has always been uh, these Dex weapons are cool, but goddamn fuck this, this durability, you know. So, um, intelligence Dex has like eight weapons that are built for it very specifically okay that are all excellent yeah i'm thinking i'm um, thinking that i'm about that route mm -hmm. and in particular you get into these great situations where let's look at moonvale right moonvale is the the meme katana you've been seeing around it lets you do judgment cuts and dimension slashes it is an intelligence katana i don't think i've seen it in action but i do i did see a meme i said Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Right. And I did see a meme of a bunch of gray faces all going. So I specced into Mew, into Moonvale. It's pretty yeah. awesome. So it's like okay, everybody's using so, it as the enchanted great, great. Uh, curved sword. But the other thing that's great is that the rapiers and uh, and uchis that are for Dex Int also have just a native background bleed proc on them. Okay, it's fifty. So you're gonna get one at some point so is like, it it's excellent so i i guess then because you again remember the um demon souls adjudicator shield yeah. uh uh, uh enchanted uh, yeah then then curved sword right Ma magic right whatever is uh, yeah so, so the the you had the enchanted sword but then you switched to the sacred long sword which also healed you okay and it's just like this is this is what a demon souls character looks like so i've seen a couple folks running around and i was like oh yeah i guess since that awesome blood blade is nice and early a, a mm -hmm. bunch of people get it quick so i've seen a couple ghosts with it and um after seeing that meme i guess this moonvale thing is the yeah it's currently the, is the intelligence meme weapon it's the go-to okay okay um so there's all that and then i was really genuinely surprised to see so you pro you did you kill a dragon at any point no okay so when you kill a dragon you'll get a heart right and the heart is your shop currency for dragon spells which yeah, have their you, completely... you mentioned last time that's how you got the spell 
yeah, they're 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 their own tree, and they require a little bit of faith and a little bit of arcane. Um, they are absolutely fucking stupid, incredible. And in particular, one of them lets you put a uh, I'm gonna call it toxic because I don't think you've encountered the actual name of it in game. But instead uh, of poison, yeah, no, I um, shit, there was something. Well, it's listed as a part of, um, remember the folder names, right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's, like, of the resistances, the first one is a category that includes toxic, uh, plus, uh, or includes poison plus something else. And it's, like, a uh, it would be, it would be It would be called rot. Rot, yes. I Yes, exactly, yeah. rot. I have gotten rot so, resistant stuff. So, uh, scarlet rot is what I'm going to label as toxic. I think yeah. there might be an actual toxic status, but... For all intents and purposes, it's super poison. Um, and you can cast that on bosses, and it works. It works on every boss I have fought except for two. And it will put a 50 damage per tick poison effect that lasts for like three and a half minutes on any boss you want to put on it. I mean, I'm assuming that all of these bosses of the fucking, you know, ten, dozens and dozens are each outfitted with proper weaknesses towards specific things and resistances yeah, here's to others. Yeah, here's the weaknesses. Uh, everything that you could consider alive at all is weak to bleed and rot. Things that may look like they're entirely out of rocks... <laughs> They're maybe not they gonna don't be bleed. Weak. Maybe mm. they won't bleed. Maybe they won't rot. But mm. that only that only factors into like three or four or five bosses that I mm. fought in total. Um, and the combination of those two status effects has led to the ability to kill shit way above your fucking pay grade. Interesting. There is a there is a boss that I fought down in the pit of some tower that I would hit it with my sword and I got just the barest tinge of damage. Just the tiniest tinge. And I beat it by putting rot on it and running from it and throwing lightning bolts when I was across the room as the lightning and the, the damage ticks just brought it all the way down to zero. Mm. Okay. What's the intel on parrying bosses it's uh so what how's how's what what weapon you got in your hand right now it's 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 a bloodhound bloodhound in my right um i got my my staff in my left and i switched to um a, a, a decent shield uh, i forget the so one. parrying bosses uh does work um on a lot of them but it's not worth it because it's so dangerous okay um, but it's, it's a possibility it, it is there in, is in yeah like you've seen Margaret, you can parry Margaret, right? So certain um, attacks on certain things, not but but certainly not like a universal. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, but uh, it's usually a hell of a lot more cost effective that instead of parrying them, just jump attack them. Oh yeah, no, I just for the sake of feeling cool. Yeah. For the flex, I just want to know that it's a thing that can happen. You know. Yeah. Um. How how's your experience been in posture breaking bosses? Well, literally, I remember, um, so the moment that I truly discovered Jump R2 was against that, the dude in the, um, the, the invader in, in the round table, right? Mm -hmm. That you jump the balcony. Oh, he doesn't know, he, he doesn't know how to do it. At all. It. And I was like, oh, this is the, this is the way. Um, that's what really cemented in just how effective that is. Because it's, at the bare minimum on him, a guaranteed stagger. A guaranteed interrupt of whatever he's doing, as long as you time it properly, and if you and that and the and, and the enemy both are in the air and you anti-air them, they drop to the ground. Oh yeah. So you get a full knockdown and you can set up uh, some wake up, you know. So if you fought any of those trolls, those really big ugly guys, the gray mm -hmm. ones with the lack of guts, um, I was fucking around with this and I noticed that like. Enemies always have a lot of sweeps in these games, right? A lot of full, let's say, 270 degree sweeps around their character body. A lot of them in this game 
tend to be really, really low to the ground. Yep, Sekiro. Like, suspiciously low to the ground. Absolute Sekiro. Uh, and you can absolutely hop them. You can so, hop ground pounds. You can hop sweeps. Mm -hmm. The uh, the tree, um, the big tail swipe. That's how I oh, was. Oh yeah, hop save, it. Yeah, yeah, just save your stamina. Get right over that thing. You know. Mm -hmm. I feel like. So like, there's the map, which is the most intense map I've ever seen, especially because of how it lies to you. Now that you've been playing for a while, you now understand the the power of the map's size increasing mm -hmm. as you explore. Instead of most games that just show you the whole map right away, in this one you teleport somewhere and then the map just doubles in size horizontally. Yeah. So I have to confess, like I do, I did kind of expect, given what I hear and looking at the size of the map when you pull it up, I expected that X, Y axis expansion. The uh -huh. Z axis is what fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, the Z, yeah. It, it'll get That's you. the damage. That's the so, real damage. As somebody who I cur I believe I have explored all of the underground, there is so much more underground than it even appears. <sighs> There's a lot of underground, <sighs> underground. Yeah, I just there's in particular there's one moment in the underground I remember in which I hit one of those big elevators and I'm like, "Oh, finally." And it started to go down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like like the and it the and it's like a fucking 3 minute ride it feels like. I mean, just like the lazy way that games would do that. Well, it's not lazy, but it's the rather the asset conserving way is to walk into the shadow realm, you know? And it's like, nah, how about just more? And it's more. different. And it's just it's over very there. Different. And it ain't the same thing. And you're like, fuck off. Yeah, fine. <laughs> you I, know? I just like every. Part, uh, there are some obvious minor complaints. It still has the occasional lock-on problems. I've run into a couple bosses that have been reused, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Um, there's a couple weapons that are bugged. There's a couple uh, armor pieces that are so bugged they show an invisible chest when you put them on. Oh boy! Uh, like little little minor things, but all in all, like. I have like I've been so thrilled to look at the map and go, huh, what's that? And go over there and there was a thing there. What also Just over and over and over and over and over. What's been encouraging too from um the 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 vibe I've been getting is like don't worry about making a bad build numerically. You're going to get time to steer wherever you want to go. You you would have to because of the Ash of War system, right? If you're using a normal weapon that you can upgrade with normal shit and put an Ash of War on, mm -hmm. right? Even if you botch it, you'll be able to switch it to a different damage type to get past the thing that you're dealing. And yeah. then you'll eventually just unlock respec. That's really, exactly. And, and between that and the ability to get respec, that's very, very... Um, um, I'm very happy to hear that because, like, it also, you know, cuts down on, like, that massive regret you might get from realizing mm -hmm. something's wrong with the build or and you're locked in at a certain point. Or, you know, even, I'd say, to some degree, the amount of backseating you're going to get about, like, uh, uh, how your, your your number placement is going. Like, I'm... Oh, the backseating on this one is, is, is really funny. It's, depending on your audience, right, it's... Strength weapons are broken, dex weapons are broken, spells are broken, faith is broken, arcane builds are broken, bleed is broken, rod is broken, having too much health is broken, <laughs> etc. Et Whatever you manage to make work is broken. Deprived parry oh, uh, buckler only. It's broken. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of, it, and to a degree, honestly, it kind of is. Like mm -hmm. it, it kind of feels like this is the marvel of FromSoft games, in which you can just 
You could do so much. We threw stupid, it all together. Stupid shit. <laughs> like the blood slash move costs like 10 HP to cast, and it does like five or six swings worth of damage, and it's this giant like mortal blade arc. Like it's super good. But because you want these cool things too, like the temptation to ignore my my fucking HP and not build it up at all is high because I want to so, do cool things more than I want to be less squishy. So my vigor I, is going to fucking sit there, man. I spent... Out of eight streams, I want to say I spent five and a half at 15 health. And I got to a point around the end of stream two where every boss would kill me every time in mm -hmm. one hit mm -hmm. uh health gives you a lot of health per point in mm -hmm. this game okay it gives you a lot it's just like you want like don't make like you making me choose between doing cool things <laughs> and taking world damage it's like i'm always gonna want to lean towards the so cool woolly things. i will send you but i know a... i know and I, I know that i need to worry about that and i am woolly, i will send you a document i highly suggest that you bookmark this this is an exhaustive tested faq about where the stat breakpoints actually are oh that's nice okay because uh, here's the other thing um and you know pretty good idea here shout outs to plague um, he popped a he he made a thread on Twitter that was like, "Hey, people that are in the end game, um, what are your spoiler free build regrets?" Right, mm -hmm. and I did see uh, some people going, "Yeah, didn't give myself enough life, and then number paid one. for it later." Number one, easy. So I'm like, right on. I will keep that in mind. Also, I'll give you a tip. Uh, if you find the skill Barricade for shields, think strongly about using a shield. Mm -hmm. Because Barricade um, increases, like, the, the guard reduction, like how much stamina health you take on a hit. Mm -hmm. It increases it by, like, four or five hundred percent. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, a medium shield can take, like, an entire boss combo, no problem. That's fucking sick. And um, on great shields, it makes the stamina loss on block zero. Damn. Okay. Zero. Okay. <laughs> I mean, look, um, shielding, because of the fucking counter mechanic, already is it, I'm enticed to always have one on me. Um, so it's I'm just my end thing is just gonna be mixing and matching whatever is fun. You know, for some enemies, I'm going to be going for that. For others, I'm going to be just, mm -hmm. you know, spell sorting. And I'll just, I'll just, you know, I want to make so sure I have, uh, I have the equip load to just switch to something fun. I've uh, respect five times. I st I'm still sitting on seven respect items. <laughs> Damn. There, there's a, there's a ton of them. There's, there's, a, there, there looks like there's 15 or, or such in the game. Sick. Like it's, it's, it's no problem. Um, and one of the most exciting things to me is that the optimization process has started. Um, the optimization process has been enabled by the bleed effect. Mm. Um, and the current thing that you can manage is you can start your game and then rush your ass to torrent, get torrent. Go get what's called a gold pickled foul foot, which is the get more I've souls got, item. I've gotten a couple of those, yeah. Go get a bleed weapon. Any bleed weapon will do. Then get your ass to Brazil, as you called it, mm -hmm. and find a big enemy there that you just happen to be able to beat on without being, it, it being able to turn around. Just, it can't turn around to hit you, so just beat on its asshole for... 10 minutes get 94,000 runes jesus immediately level up 
to uh, level 34. Run to the merchant that sells you upgrade materials because there's nothing that stops you. There's nothing that stops you. Get a unique weapon to plus five. Kill Margit in 28 seconds. I put up a Twitter video of it. Run through, get Godric. Use an NPC quest line that only activates after killing Godric to teleport to an end game area. Then use a bow trick to knock a high level enemy off a platform. And he gives you 13,000 souls per 10 seconds. And then you get 5 million runes an hour. <laughs> you can level what, your character up what's, to what are 120. We doing? What are we doing here? Why, why? What is this? Then you use the secret teleport to get past the second thing and go to the end zone. Look, man. <laughs> if you're doing this to create... To, to, if you're doing this because your goal is to create a fast forward pvp build and then you just want to pvp with your boys or whatever yeah then fine what the fuck else is going on i don't know but like jesus man that so is the, the, so there's two parts to this right the first part is the part that i said at the beginning use the bleed weapon to get yourself to level 34 right away there's a really straight up reason for that a lot of the cool ass weapons that people want to use for their playthrough like let's say moonvale Right? Moonvale is a really good example. Nobody has the stats to start using that at start of game. It requires 12 strength, 18 dex, and 23 intelligence. Nobody has the stats to do it. Right? But if you do this, you get just enough to put it on and start using it right in away. hour one. Okay. And that's why that's why that trick has become so popular at the very yeah. beginning to get to level 35 because it makes it so i want to use the tree knight halberd i want to use the moonvale katana i want to use this blood weapon uh, you know whatever but i can't because its minimum requirements are too high yeah okay the other one is i want to break this shit super hard or in a position where I'm at, where I'm level, I started at a level 115, and I'm killing and I'm killing bosses that give me one tenth of a level up. Mm -hmm. Because I explored everywhere, mm -hmm. and I'm like, but I want to get faith up to 45. I want to get this up to. The... So then you do that, and now I now my character's done. I can go beat the second half of the game with a what I'm gonna refer to as a complete character uh when you use weapon arts that are like a projectile for example like the, the one that's say like holy drive right yeah there's a lot of really good projectile weapon arts yeah so those things when you're on your last swing of your fp it goes away but if you're doing stuff that is like a particular attack let's say the the backflip with the blood blade um yeah. it still does it yeah but it'll, there... lose its, it, it'll lose its special properties. Okay, so that's what I was going to say. So right. the, 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 the flip that you're you're dealing with with the, the Bloodhound uh, sword, it has special properties. I think it has, like, fancy invincibility and extra bleed on it. That goes away. Uh, that, that goes away, but the actual movement retains. Okay. Just wanted to confirm, because uh, I'm like, yeah, I would imagine you lose something. Right. So okay. I'm at, I'm about uh, 88 hours in, and I'm at 80 hours on stream ish and i feel confident that i have hit the halfway mark and with scraping yeah and then i but i still miss stuff i, I was talking to somebody the other day and i'm like oh they're like man freeze is so busted I'm like that's weird i never found anything that did freeze and they're like what are you talking about this lake right next to this building that you were in all the time, there's a little scarab that drops a, a freeze move called Horfrost Stomp that can go on any weapon mm. and just does gigantic freeze procs that you can use to cheese all sorts of bullshit. So I also, I'm getting the vibe that um, like ashes are the, uh, the fucking Assassin's Creed 2 feathers of this game. 
right? They're everywhere. Everywhere. And a lot of them are really good. Like just nonsense things you encounter. Footsteps on the beach, you know. Yeah, uh, footsteps on the beach. Uh, uh, the scarabs. Unique enemies. Yeah, just wildly. Just they're they're littered throughout the fucking game. It feels like so far. Um, those are your those are your those are your collectibles, if you would. Uh, but uh, I, I, it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, test looks cool. Probably going back to the one I like though. You know. Yeah. There's a there's a there's a lot of good weapons in the game. Like it has it has the most amount of oh dude I want to use that in a different run weapons of any of these games I've ever played. Have you been using the I'm gonna call it while rising attacks because that's what they are like tech ed while rising light while rising heavy from Crouch. Um, those attacks were not properly balanced so uh i had a great sword for a while that i was using i was using a big faith great sword and uh you probably realize that what you can do is click in on the left stick and immediately hit r1 mm -hmm. and you will do uh the while rising the attack yeah yeah um and on ultra great swords that's a stab to the absolute maximum length of the weapon Ooh. uh and it's really fast and because you're using an ultra great sword, it does stagger. So on certain human type enemies, I was able to, for 40 seconds, just completely stun lock. Stun lock. Them by just poking them in the in the in the dick over and over and over. Okay. Okay. Um. Th there's a just. Whatever you're doing, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a way to do it really good. I mean, I just the fact that I put on two daggers and two, I put on two of the of weapon types, and I'm just like, oh, right, power stancing is free. It's just yeah, free. It's just free. have have two, and they're yeah. yours. And now do a jumping or or running. Yeah, jumping L1, double slow. Yeah, L1, double slash. You're like. Damn. Hey man, you want you want to do some shit? Put a second bleed weapon on your left hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just, just, I fought a I fought a guy. I fought a guy in PvP that um, had double Reduvias. The fucking the blood dagger. I was gonna say the blood dagger get. that I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I went near him and I swung and I just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> uh shit. I just blew up. And I can you hold on a second. Can you like I ran double scythe. I ran double holy scythe for ten hours. And it was awesome. It worked <laughs> really well. Can you coat uh with while you're dual wielding, like by just like pulling up your quick menu? Will that work? Uh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I guess you can put so. Put on huh? your quick item bar. Yeah. Okay. The other and game. Also, uh, you know the you know the faith spells that would like uh, my lightning. Uh, my weapon's lightning now. My weapon's blood now. My yeah, weapon's yeah, yeah. fire now. Uh, those require like shit for investment. You need twelve faith to do those, and I think that you 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 said you were using the magic one. What do you need? Like twelve intelligence? Oh, the uh, wait, wait, wait. To do to ma to do magic sword basically. Oh yes, yeah, it was like no, I think it's, it was like it's four, fourteen or so. Like it's, it's like nothing. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, which means that if you're running like even a strength build, yeah, put just a little little tiny point to get the the fucking buff. And here's what's fucking sick, right? Swing, swing, swing. All my stamina is gone. FP swing costs no stamina. So on depends. an end depends. Okay, so the one I'm using that I got from the the sorcery trainer, every yeah. time you do the 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 glit blade, it doesn't have a stamina cost. Okay, that's good. So every when that's I'm depleted, good. you just go more, like back the fuck up, extra damage in if you want to edge it out, you know? Hey, that you is wanna, awesome. You want to hear something really good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So summon swords is in the game. What used yeah. to be homing crystal soul mass is, is now, now summon floating yeah. swords. Yeah. There's two versions. There's the spell version, which is kind of bad. And then there's the one you can put on your weapon. Oh, and, the weapon and it art. becomes the focus and 
that thing is so busted because it does each of the swords does like as much posture damage as like an R2. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Jeez. I used the unupgraded version of it and I went and tested it out on the trolls and two casts knocks the trolls on their face. Damn. Okay. Yeah. But then but then you use the item you use the item that decreases the amount of FP your weapon arts takes Whoa. by 25%. Okay. Then you get the item that gives you FP back on crit. So then you toss out summon swords and it puts somebody into a posture break and then you stab well, them and then you get it back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, I, I it's really fun that like, <laughs> there's alternate versions of spells essentially like you can do the non int requiring uh version of an ability if you if you have ashes like that's a really fun way to play through the game if you oh, don't oh yeah it's you know if you're not playing it, it casting tons of cool shit that's really dope um uh you you've i've also found like you get what's called a, a wet blade i think you get one at the very beginning that lets you put ashes of war on but you start to get you start to get more of those, and so you get to the point where uh, you you put on an ash, and mm -hmm. you get to choose. I want keen, heavy, quality, sacred, blood, poison, fire, lightning, ice, etc. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. even within the same move, you can pick depending. And what I found is that like I rose, I was fighting something. I forget what it was, but uh, oh, it was the ulcerated tree spirit. Mm -hmm. And my weapon did holy damage, which sucks because that's the native power of the ulcerated tree spirit, which is why I switched to bleed. But every now and then you'll run into like, oh, this one's really strong against frost. That's fine. Just move it to fucking fire like that. Put Just it back in it. and change it. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. afterwards, put it back to freeze. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um... like, it's, it's so like there's a couple things I'd like to see buffed. And maybe one or two things I'd like to see nerfed. Like there's a there's a there's a build right now out there that you do petrification status on people by being physically close to them. <laughs> okay. And so you literally just ro roll at them and they explode and die. Mm -hmm. That could use a nerf. Yeah. I also saw like I might just become Darth Maul for a minute. Um Picked oh, up a twin blade. Video? Picked up a twin blade, and yeah. then like I'm spinning it around, and then yeah, there's a little thing of like, oh, by the way, you can just make that a lightsaber. I'm like, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, maybe you do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, fun options. Fun options are are possible. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm. It's. You know, I don't know if you saw on the social media. But uh, there was this thread that people have been passing around where the user experience designer of Battlefield and the quest designer for Horizon. Well, that was on the docket, but sure. Okay. <laughs> but they're getting real salty yep. about Shade Elden is Ring's being success. Shade and it's is being really thrown. embarrassing and unprofessional. And it, here's the thing. Like, it's not their fault that Horizon's timing was terrible and that the, t Twice. the the studio fucks them over or rather the, the publishers fucking them over with this horrible release timing it's not their fault mm -hmm. but this is the wrong reaction yeah and especially like let's take the quest designer in particular it's like the biggest problem here is that horizon came out twice now immediately followed by games that went the open world formula is really stale and it's a checklist and it's boring what if there what if the open world part of it was actually just go do fucking whatever man hmm what if it was that and turns out people like that now they they there wasn't uh a giant like multi-part thread where they broke down the the grievances oh, no, but yeah. but it was just a bit of a, a bit of a snipe from the side you know and it's like 
uh, it will take your word for it, but not really, because we probably know what's going on between the relationship of these two games. And furthermore, yeah. of course, is your Ubi Presents Elden Ring screenshot, where there's yeah, a bunch oh, of yeah. uh, shit in there. Um, which, you know, to be fair, uh, uh, some people have said, like, it hasn't been like this in a long time, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, Except if you look at a photo of Horizon, it actually looks just like that. Is that what's going on? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That that's that's one of the reasons that that popped up, and it's like the the comparison between Horizon and uh, Elden Ring in particular is really interesting because it, it's a focus of where like resources went. So I'll, I'll, I don't know if I, I don't know if I brought this example up to you or I was talking to Paige, but if stop me if you've heard it before. In Horizon, I thought it was genuinely interesting that when I went and did a side quest, I got a side quest from a guy, and it was uniquely voice acted. The part where she reminds herself what to do yeah, afterwards. Yeah, and you go near a cave, and she mm -hmm. reminds you, hey, yeah. oh, that's the cave. And then you go back to town, and like, oh, I should turn that thing in. Yeah. And that's, from like a far away perspective, that's cool. I like, I same, like that. But just yeah. don't keep don't keep playing it over and over and over. Like, but at the same time, <laughs> it's like I'm so sick of characters that won't shut their fucking mouth. Right, right, right. I understand you got a professional voice actor and you you spent all this time on all these cutscenes for every single fucking thing in the whole game, and that's cool. But I'm just letting you know that I don't actually give a fucking shit about any of that stuff. Now, as someone who hasn't played Uncharted, I missed out on what seems to be oh, the largest sure examples of this, is what oh, I hear. Oh, boy, you know? did you. Yeah. Well, you played Last of Us 1, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, imagine if Ellie didn't exist, but there was still the same amount of dialogue. Right, just to yourself. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right, that that's the average open world character's uh, thing. And it's like, I would rather, like, two extra dungeons with the amount of time that you, you spent talking to yourself. Like, look at Monster Hunter. Look how, look how stupid and pointless the story in Monster Hunter is. And how little anyone gives a goddamn shit. And what a waste of time it is. Do you know what I need, Monster Hunter? I need a text crawl that says that I'm going to go kill a T-Grex because it's keeping some dude's wife up at night when it's screaming two towns over. And that's why the dude needs its skull. I need the barest minimum context possible to go fight a T-Grex. Yeah. Hey, I man, why am I, Why are you going to go into that nightmare poison pit fucking swamp shithole? I don't know. Maybe there's something cool in it. That's good enough. I do feel that this war of, like, Eastern and Western game design philosophies has been always... In, it's been in the background for at least three generations now. Um, and, like, admittedly, uh, some in-office conversations with, like, devs, mm -hmm. programmers, and people that, like, do this stuff can get very fart-sniffing. They can get very oh, high and more. mighty. Oh, please tell me more. <laughs> I mean... 